Welcome to Horror 101. This video will look at the iconic horror films of the 1960s. Psycho. Monsters and aliens were out and horror took a darker turn in 1960 with Psycho. The monster was next door. Hitchcock's horror masterpiece broke rules and conventions and made a star of Anthony Perkins. You can't say you're a horror fan if you have not seen this. Without Psycho, there is no Halloween, Friday the 13th, and the list goes on and on. The House of Usher. The first in a string of Roger Corman, Edgar Allan Poe adaptations that brought together a number of horror luminaries, usually led by Vincent Price. They were made under the American International Pictures banner and let low-budget indie filmmaking cut loose. This was the real rise of famed low-budget filmmaker Roger Corman, whose influence cannot be underestimated. No Corman and his work to be a real horror fan. Little Shop of Horrors. This gave us future Oscar winner Jack Nicholson. The film was made by Roger Corman and shot in about one day. It is a marvel of indie filmmaking and was a staple of late-night TV horror host programming, and its impact on the genre and the way films were made is important. It was later remade into a hit Broadway musical and a big-budget hit film in 1986. Day of the Triffids, a staple of late-night horror host viewings that fused horror and science fiction together with its man-eating plants take over the world premise, important for its influence during the drive-in and late-night TV horror golden years. The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock continued his push into horror with the environmental horror The Birds. It was one of the first to take on nebulous environmental themes and astray from his People Are the Killers motif. The schoolyard scene is iconic, and while some of the visual effects are now seen as dated, the film's strong directorial hand overcomes most of its limitations. Blood Feast Horror gets nasty with Herschel Gordon Lewis. Lewis's mark on the genre is ushering in the splatter film. This was pure exploitation, and he wanted to go where Hitchcock's psycho only hinted. Lewis set the stage for Friday the 13th, Halloween, and all the machete-wielding splatter films to come. The Horror of Party Beach. It set a new low for low-budget horror. This atomic monster throwback to the 1950s was a financial success and was a drive-in hit across the nation. It inspired new filmmakers to go out and make something, seeing that horror was the best genre for making money with no money. Repulsion. It made Roman Polanski a huge name in horror. This went further than Psycho and openly addressed the sexual aspect of horror around its central figure played by Catherine Deneuve. Future Oscar winner Polanski would go on to direct the groundbreaking Rosemary's Baby and the cult vampire film The Fearless Vampire Killers. Quartermass and the Pit. Hammer Studios continued its successful blend of horror and high concept science fiction. A staple of afternoon horror matinee TV shows, the film and its writer Nigel Neal influenced future horror directors including John Carpenter. Mad Monster Party. Not really horror, but this film lumps together the old-school iconic monsters for a kiddie romp that features Phyllis Diller in a dress-ripping cat fight with Dr. Frankenstein's hot, red-headed Marilyn Monroe-type secretary, Francesca. The film was also a huge influence on Tim Burton and his eventual The Nightmare Before Christmas. Night of the Living Dead George Romero's low-budget miracle changed the horror scene and low-budget filmmaking forever with its flesh-eating zombies. Copyright issues will lead to a 1988 remake directed by horror makeup genius Tom Savini that stars Tony Todd and is argued by many to surpass the original. Rosemary's Baby. This film ushered in the coming 70s Devil Made Me Do It horror. It is still as powerful as the time it was released. Roman Polanski sets the bar high in the Satan-fueled sociological horror. This paved the way for The Exorcist, The Omen, and a slew of satanic-themed horror films. Its importance cannot be stressed enough. Thanks for watching, and as always, stop by morbidlybeautiful.com to see everything that's new in the world of horror.